next guest is a, a very funny gentleman who will be performing at the Bumber Shoots. We have to do something about the names of these clubs. <laughs> Bumber Shoots uh, in Seattle on uh, September 4th. That's September 4th at Bumber Shoots. <laughs> you got to be embarrassed to go in there, don't you? Uh, nonetheless, a very funny gentleman. Please welcome back to this program, Drake Sather. Drake. <laughs> Thank you so much. How you doing? Good. Does this thing clash with my outfit? I think it does, but uh, it's good to be here, probably because I spent the day on Greyhound today, yeah. Biggest underachievers in the world are on Greyhound. I mean, just the fact that you're on Greyhound, you're admitting you don't have to be anywhere for a really long time. And of course, Greyhound has a slogan, go Greyhound and leave the driving to us. I guess that separates them from the other bus companies where the passengers take turns at the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Went on a date the other night. She refused to go to bed with me. She said I had an adolescent attitude towards sex. I just looked at her. I said, you're wrong. And furthermore, if you don't go to bed with me, I'm going to tell everyone you're a lesbo. I think there's a connection between fragrance and sexual attraction, though. You have to be careful how you use it. Because remember last year, I had a string of bad relationships, and I realized the cologne I was wearing was called a, a low self-esteem psycho bitch. <laughs> yeah. So. Thank you. Kind of a surprise applause there, but thanks. But, uh, Oh, it's good to be here. My family's going nuts these days. My sister had a baby, oh, which is nice. Yeah. Babies have it made, don't they? Well, they're kind of fat and funny looking, yet everyone just loves the hell out of them. Yeah. Yeah, you never see anyone walk away from a newborn saying, God, what a jerk. <laughs> what an annoying person that infant is. Don't even talk to him. Yeah, babies are kind of fat, but they don't diet. I mean, let's face it, if you're an infant, you lose five or six pounds, you're gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah you got to be careful with the crash baby diets. Yeah. If I teach you just one thing, let it be that. But, uh... And for the most part, I was raised by women, you know, which was nerve-wracking because, uh, you know, I kept missing my period. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know how that can be, I know. But uh, I wasn't raised religiously at all. I don't understand these people who have to go to church every week. These people strike me as being slow learners. I keep forgetting. What is that? Uh, Jesus bad? Satan good? How does that work again? I'm confused. I, I'll be back next week. I'm sorry. I just hate that. But, uh, this is my folks recently. Remember when I was in high school? I had girlfriends. Sometimes they'd spend the night. This made my dad really angry. One time over at him, say to my mother, Oh, sure. He gets to sleep with folks, but when I do it, it's disgusting. <laughs> I was Pops. My dad's one of these guys, when he eats, he always gets food on his face. We will all get food on our face at one point or another, but we feel it, and then we remove it. You know, but uh, my father, I don't know, maybe he has no nerve endings in his face, because uh, it just stays there like stucco or something. The other night, he had mashed potato way over here. You know? And we hadn't had mashed potato in, uh, gosh. But, yeah. Yeah. Finally, he took out his handkerchief, wiped his mouth, missed the food completely. Then, then a white thread from the handkerchief came off onto his upper lip. And one minute he was my dad, the next an abstract sculpture of some kind. And my grandmother was at this meal, you know, the food-faced meal. And then, and she's pretty mellow now. When I was little, she had a mean streak. She used to come up to me and say, you think I'm old and ugly, don't you? Well, someday you're gonna look just like me. That scared me, because, yeah, I... I didn't want big sagging breasts. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's a pretty scary thought for a little boy, you know. I just, uh, I just wanted to have my period and then move on, you know. I didn't have to have it all. But uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, David.
The one and only hit for the group, am I right? Ides of March, vehicle, that is yeah, correct. Yeah. One hit, one hit group. <laughs> that is correct, sir. Drake, nice to see you. Nice to see you. How sir. are things? It's, it's great. I love being here. It's so cool meeting Michael Caine. Yeah. It's one of these guys everyone loves, don't you think? Well, I guess me, but... Uh, <laughs> No, he's one of those guys everyone likes, you know, which is kind of scary, because uh, generally these are the guys who later turn out to be the Antichrist, I found. <laughs> you know, the, the guys that everybody likes? Yeah, well, it's kind of sneaky that way, you yeah. know, but... Uh, <laughs> I guess not. But, uh, yeah. Ask me anything. <laughs> um, so where do you live now? I live in L.A. Mm -hmm. Do you live there? No, you don't. That'd be a long commute for you. It'd be maddening yeah. every day, yeah. yeah. I have I a in trailer LA. in Wisconsin, and that's killing me, driving yeah. in and out of here. Oh, L.A.'s cool. Yeah, L.A. went crazy about this harmonic convergence thing. Sure. Did, did you hear about that? Mm, I slept right through it. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it's the end of the Mayan calendar. It was a couple weeks ago, so I guess uh, all Mayan calendars are now 50% off of the bookstores. <laughs> He'll, uh, in Seattle, at the Bumber Shoots uh, on... Uh, actually Bumber Shoots. Oh, well, that's much Just better than Bumber shoot in uh, uh, Seattle on September 4th. Thanks for being here. We'll Thank uh, pause and come on back. Folks.